Welcome to Telecom Forum channel. This is Salam Rafan Chandran. Today we are going to talk about Ericsson Router 6000 series commands. It includes Router 6471, 6672 and 6675. So let me proceed to the content. If you want to check the attached unit configuration, you have to use the syntax attached hyphen unit space id space attach hyphen to hyphen router space slot or port position space au hyphen type it may be either ces unit or abyss unit ces is nothing but circuit emulsion service whereas abyss is nothing but automated biometric identification service this is a syntax description id is nothing but it's a attached unit id for 6672 6675 and 6471 the values ranges from 1 to 8 slot or port position the port of the router to which the attached unit is connected this is the example attached hyphen unit space one one is a id space attach hyphen two hyphen router space one slash eight is a port or slot position space au hyphen type space ces underscore unit let's suppose if you want to clear the attached unit ethernet port counters you have to use the syntax clear space attached hyphen unit space id space eth hyphen port hyphen counters id this is a attached unit id uh, the value ranges from 1 to 8 this is an example to clear the ethernet port counters that is clear space attached hyphen unit space 1 space eth hyphen port hyphen counters if you want to clear the attached unit PDA port counter means you have to use the syntax clear space attached hyphen unit space id space pdh hyphen port hyphen counters e1 port id as you know id is nothing but attached unit id the values ranges from 1 to 8 e1 port id it's an optional one the id of the e1 port the range of the value is 1 to 16 this is an example if you want to clear the records of all the ports you have to use a command clear space attached hyphen unit space one space pdh hyphen port hyphen counters let's suppose if you want to clear the specific port that is port number two you have to follow the command clear space attached hyphen unit hyphen one space pdh hyphen port hyphen counter space number two this is a port number two if you want to configure the IP address you have to follow the syntax IP hyphen address space IP address IP address it's a legal unicast IPv4 address this is an example if you want to configure the IP address as 1.1.1.1 for the IP interface means you have to follow the syntax IP hyphen address space 1.1.1.1 Similarly, if you want to configure the default gateway, you have to use this syntax default hyphen gateway space IP address. Use the default hyphen gateway command to configure the default gateway IP address of the IP interface. This is an example. Let's suppose if I want to configure the default gateway as 1.1.1.5. So I have to write the command default hyphen gateway space 1.1.1.5. If you want to create the description for the PDH port, we have to use the syntax description space text. Text text is nothing but it uh, which is used to identify the port. It's uh, similar to label. The value used in string format it can be any alphanumeric string. It includes spaces. The string may not exceed 255 ASCII characters. This is an example. This is an example description space test port. If you want to get the complete detail of the PDH port, you have to use a command show space attached hyphen unit space port space detail. If you want to configure the local MAC address of the attached unit means you have to follow this syntax local hyphen MAC hyphen address space MAC address. MAC address assigned to the attached unit. If you want to assign the MAC address, you have to follow this syntax local 
hyphen mac hyphen address space the mac address of the attached unit let's suppose if you want to configure the telecom standard you have to follow the syntax pdh hyphen mode e1 slash ts1 whereas e1 is nothing but e1 mode whereas ts1 is nothing but ts1 mode this is an example pdh hyphen mode space ts1 because i want to create the pdh mode as ts1 if you want to create the pdh mode as e1 means here you have modify as e1 if you want to restart the attached unit separately you have to use the syntax reset space attached hyphen unit 1 slash 2 1 comma 2 this is attached in id this is an example shows how to reset the attached unit so reset space attached hyphen unit space 1 so when you are using this command the specific attached unit is restarted individually if you want to display the details about the attached unit which is configured with the router you have to use the command show space attached hyphen unit space id these are the syntax description let's suppose if you want to get the details about the attached unit in detail you have to use detail which provides display detail information of the attached unit if you want to get the eth port you have to get the detail about the display the status of the ethernet port suppose if you want to get the release you have to use a syntax as release at the end of the show space attached hyphen unit space id this is a practical examples of the existing command so here i want to get the detail information about the attached unit so show space attached hyphen unit space one space detail it will provide the complete detail about the attached unit configured attached unit type is abyss unit attached port is one and the time of connection time of running is uh, 5.16 and 5.17 available status is no status administrative status is no shutdown user label is attached unit 1 type of hardware uh, roa12859281 slash 1 this is a product code of the attached unit r only is a hardware version this is a serial number and this is a manufacturing date let's suppose if you want to get the release information of the attached unit means you have to use show space attached hyphen unit space one space release it will provide the release information if you want to get the version information of attached unit means you have to type the command show space attached hyphen unit space one space version it will provide the complete version details let's suppose if you want to get the attached unit ethernet port status means you have to follow this syntax show space attached hyphen unit space id space eth hy underscore hyphen port because we are going to check the ethernet port status so we should use eth hyphen port this is an example show space attached hyphen unit space 2 2 is a id number space eth hyphen port it will provide the attached unit ethernet port status so sfe port is up rj45 port is up and connection port sfe port and the sync e pll status is logged which means it is synchronized if you want to get the attached unit ethernet port counters means we have to use this syntax show space attached hyphen unit space id space eth hyphen port hyphen counters this is example so space attached hyphen unit space 2 2 is a id number space eth hyphen port hyphen counters here we will get the complete details that is uh, how much uh, packets are sent how much bytes are sent multicast packets sent multicast bytes are sent broadcast packet sent and broadcast byte sent here how many packets are received 
bytes received multicast packets sent multicast bytes received broadcast packets received and broadcast bytes received the following example displays the counters of the ethernet port for abyss over ip if you want to get the status of the ip interface means we have to follow the syntax so space attached hyphen unit space id space ip hyphen interface id is nothing but attached unit id for the values ranges from 1 to 8 whereas id is a ip interface id the value is set to 1 this is a example show space attached hyphen unit space 1 1 is a id id number space ip hyphen interface 1 it will provide you the complete details about the attached unit attached unit id is 1 address is 1.1.1.1 and the gateway is 1.1.1.2 vlan id is 100 state is up use the show space attached hyphen unit space ip hyphen interface command to display the status and configuration of the ip interface if you want to get the attached unit pdh port status we have to use the command show space attached hyphen unit space id space pdh hyphen port even port id id is attached unit id for router 6672 6675 6471 the values ranges from 1 to 8 this one e1 port id it's optional one the id of the e1 port the range of values is 1 to 16 example show space attached hyphen unit space 1 1 is id value 1 is id value then pdh hyphen port space 9 port number 9 here we are getting the status of the port number 9 of pdh operation status is up admin status is up link state normal and the clock source is local loop back no loop suppose pdh port has some alarms like rda remote effective indication uat unavailable seconds and loif loss of frame show space attached hyphen unit space pdh hyphen port command to display a list of ports that are present or configured in the attached unit here it shows port number 7 and 9 link status is LOS loss of signal port number 9 is normal admin status up for both uh, port number 7 and 8 port number 7 and 9 and operational status is down for port number 7 and up for port number 9 If you want to get the attached unit pdh port counters you have to follow this syntax show space attached hyphen unit space id space pdh hyphen port hyphen counters e1 port id this is an example which provides the counter details of the pdh port number 9 show space attached hyphen unit space 1 space pdh hyphen port hyphen counters of 9 9 is a port number we will get the counter result of the port number 9 bbe is nothing but background block error eb is error block and es is error second ses is nothing but severely error second and uas is nothing but unavailable seconds Let's suppose if you want to get the status of the TG transport of the attached unit, we have to follow the syntax show space attached hyphen unit space ID space TG hyphen transport TG ID. As I said earlier, ID is nothing but attached unit ID. The values ranges from 1 to 8. TG ID is the optional one. It's a ID of the TG transport. The value is in string format. This is an example show space attached hyphen unit space one is the id value space tg hyphen transport space tg id tg 46 is a tg id 
we will get the following details this is a transport tg transport id is a tg46 operation status is up and the source ip address is 10.163.115.30 whereas the destination ip address is 10.163.39.21 and the link status is up uh, as well as um, session status is also up if you want to get the details about the tg transport counters we have to use this syntax show space attached hyphen unit space id space tg space tra transport hyphen counters tg id once we executed we will get the following result like uh, abyss octates abyss packets abyss error packets abyss packet lost abyss octates abyss packets like that let's suppose if you want to get the vlan configuration or if you want to do the vlan configuration you have to follow this syntax vlan space vlan id vlan id the vlan id is to be used the range of values is 1 to 4094 suppose if i want to create the 105 as a vlan id for the attached unit it means we have to type vlan space 105 which means the vlan id 105 is assigned to the attached unit use vlan command to configure the vlan of the ip interface guys if you like the video please like subscribe and share with your friends thank you